what is up guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install um, Fallout New Vegas mods from the Nexus so the first thing you're going to do is open up a browser preferably Google Chrome now I do not stream uh, or uh, pre record anything uh, on my computer besides games so for, that, for some reason buggy I'm not sure why Anyway, go up here to the top. Hang on, it's really strange for some reason why it's that buggy, but I don't know. Huh. That's weird. Listen. So go to the Nexus Mods community. Just go Google www.nexusmods.com. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to need to go up here to the corner. You're going to need to make you an account. After you make the account, go over here to games and select games. And uh, you're going to need to add Fallout New Vegas to your favorites. To add it to your favorites, go over here to search. Click on it. Instead of mods, click under that. Go to games and then search Fallout New Vegas and then add it to your favorites. After that's done, you're going to need to scroll all the way down. So now we're on this thing called Vortex down here. Now, just install Vortex. Now, when you install Vortex, you're pretty much done. Um, just install it, then uh, set it up from your downloads. And after that, you're going to need to uh, authorize your account. So after you download it, this is what it should look like. Now it is loading up for me. Now I've already had this installed before, and this is how I do all my mods. Now Vortex will work for mods that um, it's kind of like a mod manager. It just extracts the files for you and puts them in the game for you a lot easier. Um, it don't have to be Nexus mods for it to work. Okay, so now once you're on here, you're going to need to go up here and sign into your account. Now, if you're anyone is interested in why that's my username, that was the name of my YouTube channel before I changed it um, in any way. So, uh, just go up here to sign in, and it's going to take you to the website uh, on Nexus to authorize your account. Now, if you choose to, when you um, made your Nexus account, to save your password, all you have to do is click authorize. Otherwise, you're going to need to enter your username and password. Afterwards, you're going to need to head um, to games because everything's set up. Now you just need to head to games. Now, go up here to scan. It's going to scan your computer for any games that you can mod, and it's going to pick up Fallout New Vegas. And you're going to need to use that as your game you're managing. Afterwards, what you're going to need to do is uh, you're basically about done. Now you can mod. Now to get mods, just go to Chrome back on the Nexus. So now let's go to Fallout New Vegas mods. See what there is. See if we can find one here.
Now, the most modded game on the Nexus is Skyrim. Though Fallout and Skyrim is why a lot of people use the Nexus. There's many games you can mod, but this is the main reason why most people use Nexus. Uh, Nexus is for um, Fallout and uh, the Elder Scrolls series. Uh, Skyrim and Fallout 4 is the most popular one, so. So, let's find a mod here. Fallout 3 Economy. Mix the economy more right, can Fallout 3, what you do, what you want. Let's just go over here to popular of all time, see what we can find. Now, I wish I knew a mod right off the, my head that I've used before that I could just look up. But I can't really think of any mods really at the moment. Well, yeah, I can. Hang on. Let me do this. There's a lot of Enclave Armor mods. There should be one. Let's see. I think this is one I've used. Let's see. Yeah, I've used this mod before. This is a cool armor mod. I'll probably be reviewing this later on. So let's just go ahead and use this. Now, when you go to download this mod, there's going to be some options, usually. Instead of manual download, there's usually going to be an option for Vortex. Never use Vortex. Even though we installed Vortex, do not install it through Vortex. Always just manually download it. So go over here to files and always manually download it. Never install it with Vortex. So we're just going to get the main file for the moment and always just manually download it. Even though we're going to be using Vortex to use it, do never install it through Vortex. So let's click manual download. Let me move this over. Okay, I don't think I can't move my logo um, once I start screen recording. It's now right down here. Now it's got one minute left, so I'll get back to you when this gets downloaded. Now that our file is downloaded, do never open this up. I mean, you can if you know what you're doing, but if you don't. Don't mess with this. Um, all we gotta do is cl uh, close this window. And now we're back um, on Vortex. So we have this game as what we're managing. Now let's go over here to Mods. Now go up here to this little icon called Install from File. So just click on this and it will do all the work for you.
Hang on, I must have clicked something else. Cancel. Okay, it's trying to install one of my other mods. Okay, so now it's going to bring us to our downloads. Now go over here and scroll down to where you find that name of the mod that we downloaded. Now you can go back if you forgot the name, and it should be pulled up in case you forgot the name like I did. Okay, so here it is. Let's click that. Click open. And as we can see up here, it's going to do all the work for us. Now, if this pulls up on your screen, click cancel. This never pulled up on my screen, but for some reason it did then. Sometimes mods can be kind of tricky to use when Vortex wants to act real. Sometimes Vortex is a pain in the hunting, sometimes. But it's, in my opinion, when it everything works good, it's probably the best mod manager. So, if it adds variant where it says 2, just click add it. If it's not filled with any letters or anything, uh, click cancel. So now it's when it should do it. That should not pop up on your screen um, unless there's like um, something wrong with the mod or something that you've done or something like that. Um, that's the only reason that's popping up in my mods because you have to add that for this mod. But on standard mods, it usually won't be there. If it wants you to add something, just click add it. So as we can see, it's extracting. So it does all the work for us. Now while that's doing that, I want to show you how to delete mods. When this gets done, I'll show you how to do that too, and how to make sure it's working. When your mods finish extracting, you should have this. Now you want to enable it for it to work in your game. Afterwards, another blue thing should pop up. And now it's going to deploy the mod. Now the reason it's saying there's unsolved conflicts is because you post to download another thing for this mod. And this mod just... Sometimes this mod's always been a little tricky to download. But it's just what we're using for this demonstration anyway. And, you know, it's fine for the moment. I'll fix it later when I go to do a review on it. So, now the mods are good. But let's say you want to delete a mod. You would go over here to remove. Now, this will just remove the mod when you click remove. The mod will still remain in your downloads in case you want to reinstall it. If you click delete archive, it will delete mod from your downloads in your computer it's up to you on however you want to do it if you want to just remove the mod from the game you can do that that way or if you want to delete the mod from the computer you can do it that way afterwards you're going to need to launch Fallout New Vegas now to make sure the mod is going to work in the game go over here to data files now even though the mods installed that does not mean it's selected to uh, run in the game so make sure you have these as check marks but let's say you want to disable the mod for the moment you would click on it and it would disable it to make it uh, run in the game make sure you have a check mark on it or run in the game don't click load loose files just leave that unchecked marked and press ok and click play and in the game the mods will be in there Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this quick little video um, on how to download Nexus mods. And Vortex will accept mods from uh, Medifire, Medifire or anything um, in the game uh, that you like to uh, would have add-on into it. Um, from websites, 
besides the Nexus, let's say you go on another website and you find mods and you're like, well, I don't know if I can use them or not. You should be able to still use Vortex as your mod manager. It does accept mods that are not on the Nexus because all it is is a mod manager that does the work for you and gets it extracted in the game. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. This video would have been a lot better if my screen recorder was not bugged. And how this works, how I record is I use the Steam link, which links my computer screen to my phone. And um, that's how I do it. Now, um, and I was getting a bunch of YouTube notifications too, which was making it worse. And that's why there was a bunch of stuff um, uh, censored on the top of the screen. Because I didn't want to show what my notifications were. You know, or any information like that. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, this has been Nightmare.